Hi there, it's Mrs. Hosick. We are now in our third week of self-isolation from our COVID-19. And your art project this week is having anything to do with Easter. Easter is a time for bunnies and chicks and all sorts of things. I'm going to give you some ideas. So maybe for your Easter project, you could do something having to do with chicks. Maybe you'd like to make a chick out of something, okay? Rather than just drawing something, maybe pom-poms or whatever you can find. Be creative. Or maybe you could dye some eggs or draw some eggs, paint some eggs, showing some patterns, kind of like we did with the Easter Bunny I did the tutorial on. Maybe you could go for more of a religious theme, which is why we have Easter, okay? Because Jesus died on the cross and then he rose on the third day. Okay, so a religious theme. Speaking of eggs, maybe you could paint a few eggs, dye a few eggs. Here's a couple of wooden eggs I've done. And kind of a neat design. There's a little mini one. And maybe you could make an Easter basket. I made an Easter basket on a wooden egg. The other thing that um, I like about Easter is lilies. Okay, lilies are a beautiful flower that represent Easter. And today I'm going to actually draw a lily and I'll just get that set up for you and I'll show you step by step. You can follow that as your project or you can do something totally different, totally up to you. All right, and here we go. So I'm gonna draw an Easter lily. Actually, it's a it's a, a pink lily that I'm going to, going to do. Um, Easter lilies typically are white, but I'm going to do a pink lily for you today. And you can do whatever color you'd like. You could do an orange lily, purple lily. All right, so our flower is going to be this section here. We're going to leave room for our stem and a couple of buds down in here. The first petal we're going to do is right up here. And we're going to make one that looks like it's kind of folded over. I am using a small Sharpie, small, and you can use a big one if you want, or if you can pencil and so you can erase. So this is the part that's flipping over. I'm going to come out here and make the bottom part of my petal, like that. My second petal is going to come out here, and I'm gonna make it nice and long. And then this one's gonna be kind of flipping over a different way. So I'm gonna come out here and I'm going to come up right there. Notice I've left a little bit of space there because I wanna come around and now put a little part in that is kind of flipping towards you that way. All right. The next petal I'd like to do is the one in the center here. So I'm going to come up to the center I do kind of a little scallop at the top right there, not a pointed one. All right. The next one, we're gonna put one on either side over here. So this one is going to come out here. And down the side, kind of meeting up with that edge there. And we're gonna put one here. And this one's also going to have a flip like this. So I'm gonna come up here and do this and then come around. And then I have one more petal to do, which is going to be over here. I'm gonna start just below there, come down and I'm gonna come around and meet up with the bottom there. 
All right. So in a lily, they have kind of a, a line that goes up through the center. I'm going to be using watercolor crayons or pencils today. Um, if you don't have them, you can use something else. So I'm going to make two lines up through the center of each of these flower petals. And this one, you have to do it here. And then you have to do it as if it was coming over right here. And then this one is going to come down and you just see it to the edge right there. So there we have our lily flower. Now we're gonna start our stem down here. We're gonna come back to the center here in a second. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a little ball right there. And I'm gonna come straight down. Stems on the lily are straight. Again, if you're using a pencil, you can do that first. You can erase. All right. We want to make a couple of buds coming out before we do any leaves. So I'm going to come out here. I'm going to make a stem here. And I'm going to do a long shape like that for the inside of my stem. And then on the e each side of it, I'm going to put a little section like that. There's one bud. I'm going to do another bud here. Again, that middle section. And I'm going to come out both sides. It's like a nice, two nice little buds. All right. Now we're going to take a look at our leaves. The leaves on lilies are quite um, narrow. So I'm going to put a long leaf right in there. And I want to put a line down through the center. Crooked there. And I'm going to put another one maybe here. And I want to make one that's actually turning, kind of like the buds are up here. So I'm going to come out. And I'm going to make a leaf like this. I'm going to come up like that. And now I can actually do a little line here. And then I can put my center in and my center in there. You can add a few more leaves if you want. I may, I'm going to add another one in here, I think, just for the fun of it. And maybe another one here too. All right. Now, so we have our flower. And lilies have a long stamen with these things on the top that are usually brown or sometimes they're yellow depending on which lily it is. So for the purposes of this I'm going to just do some lines up here that are going to be the stamens coming out and I can do my coloring right over these. So it's coming out of the middle of my flower And then I'm, there's, their little ends here are like little ovals that go different directions. All right, so there's the middle of my flower. All right, again, I'm doing watercolor pencil. You can use whatever you want. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause it and I'm going to color the areas that need to be colored to show you how um, to do the watercolor pencil and then I'll come back. All right and we're back. So what I've done if you take a look at my coloring I'm making a light pink uh, lily. If 
you take a look where I've put my watercolor pencil, I haven't colored the whole thing, but I've put it against edges. See there? Against edges. And you can follow that when you go to do yours. So I'm going to take my water. I also chose to use two greens on my leaves. I'm going to take my water and I'm going to start blending these. If you have watercolor paper, that would be even better. But I thought I'd use not watercolor paper, just so you can see that it can be done on regular paper. Make sure you don't get it too, too wet. You have to have enough water that it flows, but not so that you wreck your paper. And then my buds here, I actually used a little bit of purple on the background in there because they tend to be a little darker, the buds. Just a little bit of different color there. And I'm washing my brush in between colors. I'm going to come down here and blend out my stem. I thought it'd be kind of cool to do two colors there so they kind of blend together. You can make as many leaves as you want. You could add more buds if you want. There we go. Okay, so there we have a watercolor lily. Here's one I did earlier that's a bit brighter of a pink or a darker pink. Okay, so you could make it orange, you could make it lighter, purples, but uh, follow along and anxiously waiting to see what you can come up with for Easter. But this is my project. Have a great Easter weekend and look forward to hearing from you again. Bye-bye.